Today, Martha and I are hiking through a remote canyon in the American Southwest that is reportedly filled with ancient structures. We're going to do our best to spot the traces of America's past that may lie within this canyon and enjoy its solitude. Whatever happens, this should be a fun adventure. It is a beautiful sunny morning and we are up early descending into the canyon I mentioned yesterday. Um, and the goal is to just basically walk through the canyon and check all the possible alcoves or little nooks that could be housing any sort of granaries or ruins. And hopefully we end up finding something. So I'll just keep uh, updating as we go. So the best way to spot these ruins that I found is to kind of train your brain to search for the the windows because when the ruins are up on the cliff, right, the actual bricks they're made of are obviously the same sandstone, so they blend in super well. But those windows, are, since they're shaded inside, are black. So you can kind of search for the black squares on the on the edges of the cliffs and like your pattern recognition brain really uh, picks up on those black squares. And that's how I spotted some yesterday in this same canyon. So hopefully that method works again for me today. I'm just gonna keep searching for little black squares on the edges of the cliffs. All right, the canyon has just opened up pretty significantly, making it pretty easy to look at the cliff edges. So time to start checking all these cliff bands and hopefully get something soon. We haven't spotted any ruins yet, but there's a cool geologic feature right there. An absolutely huge pinnacle or a toadstool or Voodoo, whatever you want to call it. But we got up on the sandstone a bit to give us a better view and we'll keep searching. Walked around this corner, and yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the black square I was talking about. And the window, and there we go. We got our first little ruin of the day. It's kind of shaded right now, so we're gonna try to get up to it and get a better view. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You can only imagine how it would look in the afternoon sun, but gotta get an early start sometimes. Here it is. Wow. That is so pretty. Wow. I'm assuming they didn't, these might have been granaries. I don't know. Wow. There's handprints up here. So cool. Are there more of hand outlines, I guess? Really, really cool. Taking a peek in the windows real quick. Obviously without touching anything. Preserve these runes. But nothing really in there. It's a very black ceiling. I'm not sure if that's because of fire or if that's just the rock. The rock out here is also black, but anyway, nothing much, just probably some storage units or something. I, uh, probably granaries. Would have fit a lot of stuff, to be honest. But, yeah, these are beautiful. I just took some photos, and I'll throw those up. Super photogenic, because this kind of looks like fire and uh, among all the black rock so 
super cool. I want to take another look at these handprints. Very, very cool. Looks like there's three of them. I don't see anything else around the run. At least not directly around it. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. Didn't have big hands, but there's the fire. Beautiful geology along with archaeology. Anyway, we are stoked about this, so we're going to keep probably walking along this cliff band and seeing if we can find anything else out here. Oh, you see some? Yeah. Oh, yep, I see them. Oh wow, those have a lot of uh, plaster on them still. Wow. Cool. Oh, there's several, like, yeah, let's try to get over there. We might not be able to see them on the camera right now, but we're, there's some ruins over there, we're gonna try to get to them. Determined that it's actually a little bit sketchy to get over those high ruins, so I'm gonna take some pictures of them to zoom them in for you. And then I also found there's a couple of small pictographs right here of just some painted white lines. I don't know if you can see those, but just just a couple. Oh, there's a couple in that corner. And maybe a little figure, but just some painted lines, so have to keep keep an eye out for pictographs, I guess. We just spotted there is another ruin just below the ones. Uh, the high ones on the cliff that I just photographed. There was really just one good one up there and then the rest seemed completely destroyed. Just like kind of piles of bricks. So I don't want to take pictures of those, but yeah, there's definitely one on the bottom that you can see a couple of clear walls. And then we'll probably walk around the corner past that one and see if there's some more. Uh, the ruin with really good plaster is right up there. Can't really see it now, but it's right there. And then the next one, I can see it. It's just to our left. It's destroyed. Yeah, it, it had a. It's got a lot of those juniper logs still on it. Wow. It's got some nice cactus growing next to it. Love to see it. Yeah, there's still like a bunch of sediment on top. I wonder if that has like collected there or if that was part of the roof. Little look inside. Mostly just fallen logs and rocks. Same thing over here. Very cool. Yeah, pretty much all of the cement and plaster is completely eroded away on this one, it's just bricks left. So it's probably very fragile. So I noticed that there's a bunch of scratches or gouges in the rock, especially right there, and even a pecked little foothold or something. We've seen those all over the place and I do not know what they're for yet. Anyway, this one was pretty cool, much more dilapidated than the first couple, but I think that's just because of weathering not because of people um but yeah we are gonna keep walking on this little cliff band and uh maybe just go half a mile more or so and see if there's anything else i was hypothesizing that maybe the one up high on the cliff that looked really hard to get to was the granary where they stored their food and that little structure we just saw was maybe a home or where they stayed and when i say they i mean Ancestral Puebloans. As with all these videos, they built all of the dwellings out here over several hundred years, I think. They usually say it's like from 750 AD to 1300 AD. They were present in this area before environmental or social conditions caused them to move. I'm once again editing in the car, and I'm once again asking you to please subscribe if you made it this far in the video. Uh, the last time I asked, we got a ton uh, of subscribers. We're 
really close to a thousand now. I just think just over 300 away. Um, so yeah, if you're enjoying this video and you've enjoyed some of my videos in the past and you're not already, please subscribe. Back to the video. I believe I've spotted our next ruin. Nice little green. Awesome. This one's got a bunch of wood piles on top of the shed. I don't know why. But this one looks a lot more rudimentary, like they didn't put as much effort into getting a very flat wall like they do with some of them. But it's another little storage unit. Spotted another ruin. There are three black squares that I saw as soon as I went around the corner. I'll zoom in and take some photos, but they are right under that ledge over there. I think we're just gonna come sit down up here, enjoy the view, and then we'll turn around and head back. After a long day of hiking, Martha and I headed back to our beautiful campsite in the woods to have a relaxing fire and film a little bit of behind the scenes cooking for you guys. All right, to show you what's going on right now, we just had dinner out of cans. We had some chicken noodle soup and then I was like, hmm, I'm still hungry. So I put some pancake mix in this can and we're currently trying to make pancakes on the fire. And you know, it's, it's going, it's going. I won't say it's going well, but it's not going terrible. Again? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Duh. Get a lot on there, a lot. Okay. <coughs> okay. Don't make it too big. Yeah. All right. <sighs> and then I'm going to attempt to flip this flapjack in the air. Like they do in, I don't know, like profesh professional flapjack flippers do, but... What? Is that a thing? No. Oh. I just made that up. Alright. Got the whole scene? Yeah, alright. Okay. Oh! 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 <laughs> that is perfect! I, yeah. Wow. Good job, good job. Dude, halfway through that I thought it was, I thought it was all oh. over. I thought it was landing sideways. Nope, it, it made it, barely made it. Dang. Alright, take two, he's getting ballsy this time. Alright. Oh. You know, not as good. Two but time champ. Not at Pretty all, good. Not, yeah, a, not bad. Seven out of ten. Yeah. The fact that I didn't make any taco pancakes doing that, I'm, I'm proud of that. <laughs> 